YouTube, what's going on? Kai here checking in with another video. Hey, today, today we got Leaf Ward's case. It's much worse than I thought. Let's go on and get into it, man. Niggas that took 10 losses and they still drop. Try and beef with us, they need to worry about they real eye. Bro be out here walking shit down, he think he Jill Scott. I can find out where your bitch Bro, to be walking shit down like Jill Scott. They had and get the real be out here walking shit down. He think he Jill Scott. I could find out where your bitch they had and get the real spot. Talking about he heavy, he just look like rich shooters. Big bro got some bees and he could cook right. May or may not know already, popular Philly rapper Leaf Ward has been arrested and charged with a slew of charges. You ain't getting money like we getting, so we ops. I'ma catch me when my drop, but call me with them drops. When we bounce, this shit gonna take us three minutes top. West Philly rapper Leaf Ward was arrested out King of Pressure Mall. Turn it up, I'm rich as shit, tell Danny, bust me down again. My shorty put some on the 40, I bought him a pound again. Innocent and you ain't in this shit, get from around him. Then he drippin' while he slippin', blick him, that's the shit they found him. So a rapper that goes by the name of Leaf Ward actually took a girl on a date, but he took on a date inside of a stolen car. The car wasn't his. Now, what tipped the police off was the fact that he was actually driving a car, and they've got these cameras actually set up, and they, can they got police cameras around most of the hoods. So what the cameras do, if somebody reports a car stolen, the cameras will, like, send a tip, like, hey, I just saw this car here. You know, it's at this place. It's heading here. So it's like an automated system that actually does it. They tipped it off, and they went to where the car was at into a res buddy and while he was at having drinks with the lady he ended up like running through the restaurant recently philly billboard posted a picture of 12 rappers currently locked up hood's highly locked up nah cap we just i just seen him with uh skrilla So I decided to make a video explaining why they are all sitting down at the moment. Since Leaf Ward was the first in the picture on there, I started with him. Now I covered when Leaf first got arrested last August, but I hadn't looked so, into it. So this the artist that I know. I know Leaf Ward, Hood Charlie, Hop Out Blick, uh, Diamond Street, FS The Bender. God did put me on the Hardy. Lil Bucks, that's the ones I know. I'm gonna check out Lil Bape. I don't know who Lil Bape is. G12. I don't see. I, I just told y'all who I know. Who it since then? I'm gonna check the other and ones. There seems to have been a few developments that I wasn't aware of until a few days ago. But before we get into the major of update, 12, let's just start fresh for those who aren't completely up to date on Leaf Ward. Bro, he gonna get you out the way for me. 
So Acorns is a uh, financial tech company, so um, I, I, I bought uh, everyone's gifts today. Born in April of 1997, Leaf Ward has been a mainstay in the topic of rap and hip hop in Philadelphia. He started his musical journey in 2018 and has blessed us with albums like On My Own, Stuck in the Trenches, Volume 1, and Stuck in the Trenches, Volume 2. Recently, however, Leaf has fallen into the rapper death trap and potential career killer, getting locked up. Leaf has been endorsed or co-signed by pretty much every rapper in the city that isn't his app. In August of 2023, the Philadelphia Inquirer reported that Upper Marion Township police arrested 26-year-old rapper at a restaurant next to the King of Prussia Mall the latest in a series of jailings of drill stars that have shaken the scene's fan base. Ward was charged with three felonies, court records show, including possessing a firearm that he was barred from owning because of a prior felony conviction. He was also charged with evading and resisting arrest, recklessly endangering another person, and providing false identification to law enforcement and several drug-related misdemeanors. He's being held in a Montgomery County Correctional Facility on a $150,000 bill. Upper Marion Police said they'd been tipped off by surveillance cameras that a black Dodge Challenger reported stolen in Philadelphia in July was traveling towards a restaurant driven by Leaf Ward. According to the report, Ward was drinking at the bar with a woman when police called a tow truck to remove the vehicle. Noticing a commotion, Leaf went outside, saw the officers, and ran back inside the restaurant. After dashing through the kitchen and ditching a black Glock 40 caliber handgun with an extended magazine, Ward was ordered to the ground at Taser Point, police said. Leaf Ward allegedly told police that his name was Omar Washington. Officers say they recovered a plastic pill bottle labeled Bum Feet from the Challenger as well as a white plastic bag that police say resemble MDMA and ecstasy. Leaf War had numerous active arrest warrants sworn out against them, according to police, including one from the state attorney general's office for felony weapons offenses. Now this is all according to police, so take that for what it's worth. And as far as I know, that was where we were at. But like I said, when I started researching this vid, I found out Leaf was in more trouble than I initially thought. In 2021, he was arrested and charges from that case just say materially false written statement uh, and also purchase, delivery, or transfer of a firearm, penalties for sale of a firearm, and a conspiracy charge. So I'm not really sure what exactly that is besides being caught with a gun and lying to the cops. I also saw that this gun case from 2021 was connected to Nooski, who was just sentenced to like 40 or 50 years on a murder case. These was babies. He was only 15 years old. He ain't even start to live his life yet. Homicide detectives are looking at that video. They're also trying to identify the vehicle that was used in last night's shooting. The news media in Philadelphia at that time were pointing out the fact that murder victims were getting younger and younger. Numerous news stories and articles were written about this killing. To hear Smiley tell it, shooting people was something of a pastime for him and his friends in South Philly. Week after week, sometimes day after day, Smiley said him and his crew from 31st Street would fall into a familiar routine. They'd steal a car, hop in with guns that they all shared, and then go looking for young boys from 27th Street to shoot. 
Sometimes, he said, when they couldn't find people from 27th Street, they'd look for people who lived around the nearby Wilson Park apartments. The cycle of violence, sometimes chronicled on Instagram, and by the time investigators caught up with Smiley or Nassim Smith in 2019, he confessed to a staggering array of crimes. Wrote Chris Palmer on June 25, 2023, in an article for the Philadelphia Inquirer. The defendants, Hanif Wilkins, or Nuski, or Nunu, 22, and Yamin Mofil, or Lil Su, 21, were convicted of third degree murder and related crimes back in June, largely due to the testimony of Smiley, who spoke in a quiet, disconnected tone from the witness stand and wore a surgical mask that covered nearly his entire face in shame. He said Nuski and Lil Su, who, like him, were associated with 31st Street, told him that they killed Rasul Benson because they were targeting people from 27th Street who were also at the station pumping gas that night. Separate from that, I also saw a sealed grand jury indictment was filed, and that really piqued my interest. Did Leaf just get indicted with Tasker and all of them? So I did some asking around, and someone let me know that Yes, Leaf was locked up in federal prison. Yes, he was indicted by a grand jury. But fortunately for Leaf, or unfortunately, depending on how you look at it, the indictment only says he was in violation of sections 922O and 922G. And for those that don't know, 922G, according to Cortez Law, says... 922G creates a list of people who cannot hold or own a firearm. If you're on a 922G list, then it is a crime for you to possess a gun. The list of people includes felons, which would apply to LEAF, obviously, fugitives, drug addicts, people who are not mentally competent, non-citizens, veterans dishonorably charged from service, anyone who gives up their U.S. citizenship, stalkers or people with restraining orders or anyone convicted of a misdemeanor crime of violence in certain circumstances. Long story short, if you're on a list, then you cannot hold or own a gun. If you do, then you could be charged with a federal 922G gun crime. Allegedly, Leaf also got caught with a switch as a felon, which I believe is where the 922O comes in. That's crazy. Any lawyers in the comments can correct me. I'm not I'm not the best with law interpretations and what exactly this charge means and that charge means. But apparently it has something to do with the extended magazine or maybe it had a button on it. But in any case, the feds picked this case up, which nine times out of 10, more than nine times out of 10 is not good. And sometimes the federal sentencing guidelines can be complicated, so it's hard to predict how much time Leaf will do behind this. I know it's hard for some people to believe, but I don't like seeing the people I cover in prison. I want Leaf and Lil Bucks and Hood Tally and most of the people on this list, except for the convicted murderers, to succeed and prosper. I don't want to see them fighting the feds on buttons or ladder cases and wasting valuable time behind bars. Not only is it not worth it, so many people actually look up to the Leafs and the little bucks of the world. So it's Saudi to see them having the opportunity to win, but ultimately getting caught in the same precarious situation like so many before them, fighting for their freedom against a system that clearly does not have their best interests in mind. All the feds want to do is obviously their job, but also it gives them extra satisfaction making a rapper sit down yeah, superstar. and to humble him a little bit. I also saw that Leaf's bail is like 1.5 million or something. Could someone in the comments please tell me how common that is for a bail on a federal gun case to be that high? I really have no idea how common that is. They doing but, that because they don't want, because they sent here a flight risk. If they let him out, they think he gonna flee the state. Well, yeah, he flee the state, so. That's where we're at. That's where I'll leave it at for now. Thanks for watching American Confidential. Until next time, be safe.
tops. My driver busting Philly, I ain't worried about no cops. Get my little niggas crops, they flip twice, I drop peas on them. Little niggas acting like they would it, put my C's on them. If you've been alive a long time, we put some cheese on them. We gon' burn the V's every time we put some B's on them. She gon' help me body some, I'ma get her body done. That was us behind your brother, I could tell you how he run. I gave him a Glock 23, went and got him one. Her nigga a killer, she gon' talk the niggas how she want. Mm, Supercars. That nigga kill us. She gonna talk to niggas. I see. Hey, see y'all in the next video, bruh. Peace.